Hi, and welcome for the second round of Terra the Disaster Fairy. <laughs> so, you had one week to <coughs> get used to her gluey hairstyle, and now it's time to do the rest of her. So, I hope you will enjoy it. I really do. Because in the end, I'm quite fine with her even if her hair is crusty as hell. We now need the costume for her. And because I will need her body for, yeah, some surrounding purposes, this is our model for the uh, neck piece and uh, the cups for the Breast thingamajig. We have petal like things on the breasts. So I just went down and got some cling film uh, because we need to cover her at least the neck and breast area. I don't think we need to cover the rest, just to keep it in place slightly. We need epoxy clay. We should get some fresh water because we have a dead fly in, the, in it. And my new, my fresh, my unused sculpting tools. <laughs> I do have a scale here. Five grams. Five grams. My eye measurements are quite precise. And yes, again, I know that you are not supposed to do this by hand. You should wear gloves. I basically straight up decide not to wear glove, uh, gloves because I think you don't have that much control. Um, but yes, it would be better if you would wear gloves for tasks like this. Those boop cups, pets, whatever, are more or less, um, yeah, petals. And that is what I am going to uh, try to achieve here now. Just shaping them slightly. I think that still is too big. For the center one it would have been okay, uh, but because I don't want to make the breasts that much larger, and yes I know on the original uh, the boobs are quite big, but my decision is to not make them that voluminous so now let's shape this first one Oh, by the way, when it comes to the tools, they are quite nice. But I guess not even the best tools are able to hide a lack of talent. 
<laughs> Wish me luck that we are still able to do the necklace out of this. Oh my gosh. It's getting solid. No wonder. I'm working on this for half an hour and it's quite hot still outside. So, And it is still quite hot outside. That is how you would say it. Let's hope that this will do the trick. Two boob cups. One of those and there we go. This one. So you can go for the moment, I might need you later. We want to paint, and paint those. Uh, then there is another thing we have to take care of. There is this ribbon thingamajig, or yeah jewelry piece underneath and I want to try to make the this out of these I don't know you I'm not able to see them I want to cut them into their single segments uh, segments so I have four of them and then glue them onto a chain and paint them golden that's at least the idea ow <laughs> That is force, that is strength. Most of the stuff I now need first should be done. And for the gluing, I have this glue, which is a jewelry glue, which should lead to this being not removable anymore, which of course is the plan. And in case you are wondering now why I didn't sculpt those on here when I'm now going to glue them on you are asking exactly the same thing I was asking myself earlier The amount of cruelty <laughs> some of the dolls have to go through is breathtaking because for her scarf thingamajig we need to remove her hands. For her hands to be removed we need to boil them. <laughs> Thank you. 
Surprisingly, she turned out nice. Who would have guessed? Back when I first thought about making her, I made this, which is slightly too big. <laughs> so I still want to reuse all the wire and most of the aluminum foil. Uh, let me introduce you to the air dry clay. <laughs> and we need the path that Link can walk on. For most of them I used a cookie cutter <laughs> or a fondant, a fondant cutter, I think. Um, but there are some things that are on the original that I can't do this way. Namely, the things that make those stick out and uh, the two things where the birds sit on and the birds. <laughs> so we need to sculpt them. Yeah, per hand, <laughs> without cookie cutters. This is where we are now. This is it. Slightly crooked on top here, this one, but I'm fine with it. It does look nice enough. <laughs> and enough like the original. What I want to do now to make sure everything, especially here, these little details stay where they are supposed to stay drown everything in a bit of glue so now time for some paint You 
might notice a slight difference in color. <laughs> um, after the magenta was dry, it looked far too bright, far too red. And yes, maybe there were already people screaming on uh, screaming at the uh, screen that knew that uh, each fairy has a slightly different colored well. And Terra, who we made, is most or mainly depicted in a yeah nearly white well with um some slight dots but I decided because it's in her makeup to make uh, her well a bit more pinkish so I hope you can deal with this decision This is where we are. I am not very sure with the pink. Maybe the magenta was better. I really don't know. Um, with the makeup of her, I think the pink is far better. But anyway, we will dry brush it quite a lot. So it will get lighter. I want to dry brush a bit. With that, this is more or less done. The only thing I want to do is glue on some rhinestones and then put on a gloss that will be mixed with a little bit of a shiny pigment. But all of that is what you will see when all of this is dry and done. Now let's finish the doll and make everything be done. <laughs> I actually did record the rest of the stuff I did, which was basically just gluing some rhinestones to her hands and some plastic to uh, make fingernails. That came off again when I took photos, so meh. Um, but I will end the video here with the pictures of her. Even with the crusty glue disaster, I think she turned out quite nice. I might redo her hair. That is a decision I will be thinking about. And if I do it, I will update you. But here she is at the moment. I think she was worth the work maybe not uh, quite the struggle maybe I should have gone with Terra's hairstyle which is far easier and let's face it far more in a in the realm of my abilities but I didn't and I'm fine with her I hope you enjoyed this and we will see us in another video. Until then, bye.